daily, abiding in Jesus Christ. By Christo Dogino Baga. May 8, 2020. Isaiah 55 verses 3 and 10. Verse 3. Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. 10. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but water reft the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy Have you, reader, chosen your own way? Have you wandered far from God? Have you sought to feast upon the fruits of transgression, only to find them turned to ashes upon your lips? And now, your life plans thwarted and your hopes dead, do you sit alone and desolate? That voice which has long been speaking to your heart, but to which you would not listen, comes to you distinct and clear. Arise yet, and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction, Micah 2 verse 10. Return to your father's house. He invites you, saying, Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Come unto me, here, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David, Isaiah 44 verse 22, and 55 verse 3. Do not listen to the enemy's suggestion to stay away from Christ until you have made yourself better, until you are good enough to come to God. If you wait until then you will never come. When Satan points to your filthy garments, repeat the promise of the Savior, Him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out, John 6 verse 37. Tell the enemy that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. Make the prayer of David your own. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Psalm 51 verse 7. Prophets and Kings, 319. The plant does not germinate, grow, or bring forth fruit for itself but to give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, Isaiah 55 verse 10. So no man is to live unto himself. The Christian is in the world as a representative of Christ, for the salvation of other souls. There can be no growth or fruitfulness in the life that is centered in self. By Ellen G. White Christ Object Lessons page 67